Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back, and today I got my 92 Escort Bear. And we're going to be doing the Speed Trap, the Trailblazer, and the Speed Zone. Since we got to do A Class 800. You know what I'm saying? And it's got to be a US car. I wouldn't mind having one of these in real life. Listen to that. Oh, wait, let me set that waypoint before we get moving. A boost gauge that's crazy it's crazy i got a 93 ford escort i would love to have like a whole full cosworth kit on it especially the engine i don't know i could do a honda ka i follow this one to, whoa <laughs> All right, I follow this one dude on Instagram and he has a pink one. His is all wheel drive. He was featured on um, 1320. I think I got to come through here at like a hundred. Piece of cake, I just do it off road. Already off road, bro. Now the interior look crazy. Oh. I wish I had a VR that I could like drive and look around in here. Oh, it's got a sunroof. So does mine. Let's go. Well, these would technically be called moon roofs. Shift sounds so good. and done bro all right trailblazer hey it's all the way the opposite direction jump over there or at least jump close enough where I can get a good drive on oh I have to go through all of that yeah bro 
can jump over here. Drive from the outpost. It's crazy because y'all, if y'all haven't seen it, I'm gonna put it in the description. Well, not in the description. Put in a card right here. RS two hundred, man. It's like the best of what this car has to offer, and then so. And of course, you know, tunes and things that I have are all downloaded, designs, all of that. I mean, I should make this a billboard car, but I'm keeping it like the one that I actually own. My 93 looks like this 92 as far as the color goes. And I do got the mud flaps that came with the car. Shout out to my guy. But I would love to make it all wood drive and K swap it, but I need some information on it. So, hey, to all you Ford guys out there, if you know how to turn an Escort to a Cosworth, actually, it's the Australians that might know how to do it. But anyways, if y'all know how to do that, bruh, get in the comments. Give me all the information. I don't want to go through forums, bro. I went through a lot of it. I just want a shopping list of stuff that I could just buy and put on. My car would be set up for like autocross, that kind of thing. So if you know anything, let me know, bruh. I like leaving it to the internet because some of y'all actually know what y'all doing. I'll just go through the videos and be like, oh yeah, that's dope. And then buy it. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, bro, why don't you just buy this and this and this? Like, come on, man. That's not what it's about. I want something that works. <coughs> mm, excuse me. But nah, I want something that works, something that I can actually drive and enjoy. Take it down to Kentucky to some of their racetracks. Ooh, I could take it to Atlanta on one of their track days. Oh, almost missed a turn. And yes, I chose this car because it was all wood drive just for the Trailblazer. I have no idea where we're going, but we're going to find out. That's the picture, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ho. Al jumped over the moon. <laughs> I love how the sign says <laughs> no view. Oh, supercars. Have they always said that? Interesting. So I gotta get it to get something. Crazy little indent that it left there. All the way up to no right way for this thing. There's something there, but I don't know. Maybe I should have got it when it was closer on takeoff. I wonder how I get these screenshots. Just stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, and my dude shows up. Wait, Trailblazer, where am I going? Hasn't gave me a finish line, nothing? Maybe because I hit pause. Damn. That's underwhelming. I got the picture, though. Soaked up that landing pretty well. Alright. Luckily. Oh 
I'll start over there. Clear it, clear it, damn. Could have easily used an off road car just for this, but I think this would be alright. We'll see. Probably should have jumped on a row for real. I can see it. I didn't get it, but it was dope to go that way. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. So, what I'm gonna do is clear that first jump and then get right to the road and drive up there. I think if I clear it, jump right here, drive around, cut that corner right there. Yeah, I'll clear it, no problem. Even though I know this isn't hard, but you know, I made it harder than what it was by missing it the first time. It's crazy, I used to have that other turbo on this, but I traded it. So I could get some cams. Right now, bruh. I might have to put out a faster car. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bring out one of them rallies. Well, that was it for the escort. I mean... It was dope and all, but you're not enough, bro. See which one? Hmm. I'm quick and light. Eight. Class. One of these rally cars would be or Baja cars. Actually, wait, this might do it. I just wanted to see if it works. This is the second time I've had to pull out my RS. It's pretty quick. I don't know about off road though. Oh hell no! The way it bogged it is not gonna work. All right, let's pull out that truck. <laughs> Found that out fast. Nope. It's funny. I rarely drive these. What? Why did they pull out the Mustang, bro? Y'all swear. Y'all saw me on that. Oh, it was down one. Crash. Five seconds to spare. Okay. Let me get a real big running jump. Let's see. This is where it ends.
I think as long as I clear that first jump, I can jump right on the road and be fine. Oh yeah. I like how this floated over just then. Yeah. I should roll over the hill that way. Damn, I gotta get to twenty five. Whoa, this ain't gonna make it. Wait, so do they want you to go off-road? That's nuts. What? Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> Yo. I might just cut all of this and go to right to where I jump over it. A-Class 800. Wow. Wait, do they want you? Oh, that might be the route. Jump to the left, come this way, and drive straight up. Let me see. Hell yeah, that might be it. A couple issues around there, but I think it'll be straight. Yeah, so I gotta come up there. I gotta go hard right and then cut left. If not, then I'm gonna have to go build something. I can probably easily just tune this and do exactly what I needed to do, but I only give you a certain amount of things to work with around here. Get here. Right. Clear it. Yep, that was the one. Now that y'all know, that's the route y'all need to take to complete that. This saved the day, but the escort. Matter of fact, hold on real quick, bear. Just to do proof of concept, I wonder if the escort will make it. If it does, then y'all know. Even if it gets close, like if it does 24, then that just means, oh, tune it a little better, and then it'll do exactly what you need to do. Like, talking to me, not y'all, because obviously y'all probably download the tune if y'all want it. You know, it is what it is. I just want to see if this works. I 
I could probably lift it up so it soak up these bumps a little better, but this is not what the car was made for. I mean, it could play in the sand, but it's not what it's made for. I always remember when you get some air downshift. the route to take, yo. But it's been good. It's been great. Thanks for tuning in, Brett. Let me know what y'all think about the Escort. Peace out, y'all.